No saying ano. Okay, so Okay. So, share ko muna yung screen ko, no? Tapos, yung link ay livegen.is So, sa yung, sa yung link para pwede yung sila. Ito. Ayos na po siya. Hindi, hindi na po siya serve na ano, yung host. Mm, magit na. Actually, maraming mga, marami siyang mirror sites eh. Pero yun, dito mo i-check, dito mo kunin. So, light hold. El Calculus. Oh, I think PC7, mahanap mo na yan eh. Light hold. Kung hindi PC7, it's El Calculus. Di ba? Abo, El Calculus 7. Okay. Ayan. Tapos ang ano, pwede mo i-download yan using... So, pag dinownload mo na, so, 1998, kaya, so, ito yung, di ba, ito yung ano, tapos dito mo, ano, click mo dito sa live gen and IPFS and for. And then, save mo yung, yung mga PDF, save mo locally, kasi, mas ano yan eh, mas, so, pag kinlik mo yung get, save mo somewhere sa sa computer. And then pag kailangan siya, get it from the computer. Kasi pag every time din download mo siya, mag, paano kung ano, kung down na yung site. Uh... So save it somewhere. Pwedeng USB or isang extra hard drive. Ano, tapos may PDF reader ka naman dyan, di ba? Or, kung ano, worst case, open with Chrome. Okay na? Okay, tapos ko. Ngayon, kung nagbukas naman sa'yo, kung bukas sa... Teka, so stop sharing na ako. Pero yung ano, di ba, na-download mo naman dyan, di ba? Sa, sa usual source mo. So let me stop sharing. So, i-save mo locally. So, usually, di ba may, may, ano, di ba may download, may, may print, tapos may download button dyan? Okay, download mo na. Tapos i-save mo sa isang folder. Or kung gusto mo, sa desktop. Kasi mahirap yun eh, yung pag every time na download mo, syempre gumagamit ng bandwidth yan. Tapos, it's, you can't always guarantee na laging magiging available siya. Kasi kung yung server down, di ba? Okay, anyway, punta tayo dun sa ano, sa, ay, para tapusin lang natin kung, um, so this is a point Nasa 8.8. Anong number na yung, yung huli natin ginawa ay number? And centro something. Um, actually po, I'm not sure. Jamboard. Taka, di ba, di ba last time, Jamboard ba yung ginamit natin? Or yung Jamboard. external... Jamboard pa. Okay. Uh, centro and two negative, negative, two negative one. Ah, oh, ito yata. 33. nga. No. So, kung yun yung huli natin ginawa, so we'll start at 35. 
So, okay, so pwedeng paki ano, magbukas ka ng X ng X XOPP file tapos pakisagot yan doon. Para nakikita ko rin kung ano ginagawa mo. Ito mo. Ay na yun. Yung naka-share ngayon ay yung PDF eh. So, pakishare na yung extra file. Okay. So, yung number 35 ay focus at negative 1, 4 and 7, 4. Length of the transverse axis. is 8 over 3. Okay, so center is transverse axis Thank you. 
Teka, bakit ngayon ito? Before you set, ang hindi mo pa pwedeng i-set up yung yung transformation equations kasi hindi mo pa hindi pa natin nakuha kung kung nasaan yung center. So ano muna yung center? If you have two foci, where is the center? Yung center na point is the midpoint. Okay, so compute the midpoint. Ah, okay. So bulahin mo muna yung let ganyan. Kasi nasa maling lugar yan. Hindi yan ang mauuna or move it downwards. Okay, so center. So show the computation. So negative one. Ito yeah. Paki Pakita mo rin yung 4 plus 4 over 2. I uh, think useful naman kung kaya yun. Para kita na, this is a midpoint computation. Okay. So, x minus 3, y, x prime is x minus 3, y minus 4. Tiga, nasa ba yung print copy mo ng TC7? Hindi mo. Pero, it's, di mo may, pero may print copy ka, di ba? Abo. Pakikuha. Aba ka So, useful yun, ano? yung may hawak-hawak mo siya ngayon. Yung transverse Kasi, axis po yung, yung po yung pag ganito? So, so, ano yan? So, anong definition transverse axis? The transverse axis is the line connecting Line connecting yung vertices po of the hyperbola? Oo. Uh -huh. So, so let me definition. From the definition of the transverse axis. Ah. Uh -huh. The distance between the two vertices is eight over three. Okay, ngayon, we know that the, so on the, so on what axis is the transverse axis in the, in the prime system? So the transverse axis is on the X prime axis or on the Y prime axis?
Let's go much on the hyperbola is on the x prime axis. So the transverse axis is on the x is on the x is on the okay, ito, new line ka na. Kasi ang ginagawa natin dito ay statement by statement yan eh. Kasi pag sinasite mo siya, ilalabel mo yung statements. So the transverse axis, so new line, the transverse axis is on the x prime y prime on the x prime axis period tapos so in conclusion natin ano yung equation ng hyperbola so next line the equation of the hyperbola in the prime system hyperbola is <clears throat> Tayo, hindi pa hindi pa uh, hindi pa yan pwede. Gamitin mo yung a a at b at saka c kung ke, kung ano. Kasi that's not going to be 8 over 3. So x prime square over a square a square lang, yeah. Minus y prime square over b square is equal to 1. Ngayon, ano ba yung, dal ano ba yung dalawang vertices? The two vertices, so on this, the two vertices must be, in terms of a, on So y prime is equal to zero. So we get plus or minus. Diba? So minus. Tignan niya. Tignan mo yung equation mo. Oh. If ang vertex ay yung yung kung nasaan kung ano yung, kung nasaan yun kapag y equals 0 di ba Double. so using your equation huwag ka muna mag mag assume na that's going to be plus or minus 4 because it is in so the, so in terms of a and n so when y is 0, x prime must be Okay. Ngayon, ano yung, in terms of those two, ano yung distance between the two vertices? A, which is equal to okay, therefore A is for third. So, nakuha mo na yung A. Ngayon, ano naman yung tingno, tapos alam natin from the information Ano naman yung location ng, fo ng focus in the x prime y prime system? So the foci are in the x prime y prime system. The foci are at so using the transformation equations.
the coordinates of the fo the, of the foci are. Okay, so tingnan mo yung given ulit. Ah, okay. Therefore, C is Okay, ngayon Paano mo ko yung B? By using yung Pythagorean theorem po So, so using Hindi siya actually Pythagorean ha? Kasi na-champon lang na mukha siyang Pythagorean dyan Pero using A squared plus B squared equals C squared Hindi mo po siya Pythagorean din pag uh, yung derivation na po. Hindi. Di ba? Kaya siya, dinerive siya ng, from the, nalala mo yung, deriv, yung derivation ng ellipse, di ba? Yan yung, yung the difference of the distances must be a constant. And then lalabas yan eventually sa consequence. Hindi siya, hindi siya Pythagorean theorem. Although it will describe a triangle, you can construct a triangle with those sides na nasa, yeah, I think may, pwede, mong, pwede ka mag-construct. Okay, so A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Therefore, B is Square root of 32. So that is. Yeah. Do we actually need B? What exactly we, do we need? Think about it. Ano yung actual na hina, ano yung pinaka target natin sa dulo? Yung ano ba yung equation? Nang hyperbola. No, hyperbola. But the equation of hyperbola does not involve b. It just uses b square. So all you need to calculate is b square. Uh, so actually, all this time, I was wrong. Okay. So 32. So b squared is... Teka, uh, it's, di ba ang b squared ay c squared minus a squared? Ang c squared ay uh, six, 16 minus a squared. Uh, okay. B squared is equal to square root of ano po, diba? Ah, B squared is equal to C squared minus A squared. So, uh -huh. 36 so, minus think... over 9. So, 36. So, 32 minus... Uh, yeah. Yung C ay 4, 36... diba? Uh, yes. So... Ah, uh, uh, okay. Balik tag. So, C squared minus A squared. Actually, going me going me substitution, keeping flap of you know, so c squared minus a squared. So, so that mo. Okay, next line. So b squared is. And then, uh, Thank you. 
Wait, no since wala pa yung calculator eh. So, yun ko lang lang. 16 minus... Huh? So, 16... So, 12 times... 16 times... 9 is... 4 times 3 times 4 times 3, no? So, 12 square minus 16, so 144 minus 16 over 9. So 16 times 9 is 144. Um, I think mas okay na, imp na, pro na improper fraction ang gawin mo dyan. Ano? Uh, 9, 1, uh... So 144 okay. minus 16. So 128. 128, yun. Uh, so 128. Over 9. Okay, so we know B square, we know A square. Any equation in the prime system? Prime square. Tapos. Teka, bakit 16? Diba A square yung isa, tapos B square yung isa. Ano ba yung A square ulit? Diba A square is um, 16 over 9. So nine. Okay, so and then ayan. and then yung in the original coordinate system, yung on the, or in the unprimed coordinate system. So or in the original coordinate system. Asusunog. So using the transformation equations, okay. 
Okay. Okay. Ngayon, balikan lang natin yung ano, yung light up para na sa site yung mga ginamit mo. So, go back to the top ulit. So, we will number all the statements. Okay, so, yung center is equal to 3, 4. That's statement number 1. Or that's equation number one. Actually, statement or equation may label siya. So, on the right-hand side, nagyan mo ng open parenthesis one, close parenthesis. And then, statement by statement, i-label mo. Nasubukan mo naman mag-program? Tabo. Di ba may yung mga editors meron silang dine number? Parang uh, ganyan din yan eh. So every statement, lagyan mo ng... Yeah, so that's another statement. Transverse axis, okay, number 5. And then the vertices must be at A plus or minus A0, that's statement 6. And then 7. And then you next say eight, nine. Uh, yung in the XY system, the coordinates are plus or that's statement nine. And then C is equal to four, that's ten. Pag may mga ano eh, sa mga, sa mga scientific, pag nagsusad kang scientific paper using the tech, automatic na yung equation numbering. Well, here, so we do it by hand first. Okay, and then the equation of the hyperbola is and then 14. Ngayon, balik, so tingnan natin yung reasoning kasi nandiyan yung, nandiyan yung statement numbers. What we want to do is may reference to the to the statement numbers every time meron tayong ginawa. So, balik tayo sa first, first statement. Ano to eh? Ito yung editing na, ini na gusto ko makita ng maging habit eh. So, the distance between the two vertices is 8 over 3, so that's given. The transverse axis is on the x-axis. How did you conclude that? Actually, yung ano dyan ay, to get there, kinailangan natin information na, on the x prime, actually kailangan natin yung ano, information na, nasaan yung, in the x prime, y prime axis, Nasa yung fo nasa yung dalawang focus. So we're actually missing that information. So pwedeng ilagay mo diyan sa transverse axis is, is on the x prime axis, comma since the two foci Okay, so let's look at the let's look at the work. So the transverse axis, the two foci have actually yung ano dyan eh, the two foci are on the since the two foci are on the x prime y prime axis or uh, are, are on the x prime axis.
So it helps na kinumpute mo na yung location ng foci in the new coordinate system. Kung, so ako, gagawin ko, nandun na yun eh. Pero, para lang clear, no? So nandyan. If you rewrite the whole thing, it's probably better to do the computation of the new location of the long foci at the start. But at least, where is it coming from? That's the expected equation of the hyperbola because the, the, the transverse axis of the x prime axis is that. <clears throat> okay, so okay, na number five. Number six, the two vertices must be plus or minus a zero. Uh, from that's actually from from five. Because what's that? What's that? Vertices that those occur at y equal to zero, right? So from five, we get six. So pwede ng Lagi mo na ng parenthesis yung vison, no? From, from 5. And So that comes from 5, actually. Ngayon, then their distance is 2a which is, so that actually comes from, from 6 and the given. So, kung kasi o, iulong mo yung ano, iulong mo yung uh, move everything downwards after that, after number 6. Kaya useful din na may spaces in between. Kasi, Pag may space ka in between, mas madaling mag-edit eh. Pag ganito. Ano po gagawin? Uh, select, ganito. Yung everything below that gusto natin iulong, di ba? Pero mahirap kasing gawin yun. So, yung... So... Pati yung equation numbers, ibaba mo na rin. Tapos, so bring further down, okay, and then anyway, medyo mahirap be the onion, so. Let's just use red pen. Para lang... So, okay na yan. Huwag mo na, huwag na natin i-edit in, in this way. Kasi... Okay na mo. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So, after number six... Okay. Okay, so how did we get the distance to A? So from 6 and the given, the distance between the two vertices is... transverse axis. So number three. So yeah, statement three. Okay. 
and the distance between is 2a which is 8 over 3 so that's that's going to be statement 7 therefore a is equal to 4 thirds so in the x prime y prime system the coordinates of the foci are okay that it's actually better if you put that at the start But um, any any, yung statement nine lang. But okay, 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 that. So what did we use? We used the transformation equations and the given. So transformation equations. Lagyan mo rin ng text using the transformation equations 1 and 2. And the given in the x y x prime y prime system, the coordinates of force I are okay, and therefore c equals four. Tapos yung number eleven that's actually just the properties of the game. I yung reason the game lang na na. na on the side, siguro, naka-parenthesis. Property of a hyperbola. One of the pro one of the properties of a hyperbola. Uh, Dinirive yan nung ano. So, they quit, and, the, and yeah. So, I think okay niyan eh. So, at least dito, kita yung reasoning na nangyari to get to the final equation. Ngayon yung graph, kahit na i-desmos mo na lang yan, just to check. So, hindi. Actually, gawin mo sa desmos. Graph yung, uh, yung, orig yung ano, graph 14, and then check na nasa satisfy yung properties. So use Desmos and then siguro copy and paste mo lang yung graph na nakuha mo using Desmos. Pwede pa share ng screen para makita ko yung naging graph sa Desmos or yung ginagawa mong graph sa Desmos. Ay, hindi pala naka-share. Ay, wala, hindi naka-share. Ngayon, uh, i-plot natin yung, hanapin natin yung dalawang foci. So, let's plot them. 
Okay. And then, ano pa? Yung center okay. is... Okay. Ano yung... Kasi kung isa-sketch natin to, di ba? It's useful to have the equations of the asymptotes. So let's, so let's do that. Ano equation of the asymptotes in the primed system and then in the unprimed system? So, balik tayo dun sa notepad, sa external. Okay, so, actually, pwede mong makuha, makuha rin yung diretsyo from the equation eh. Pero, so yeah, going muna natin sa ano. In the prime system, the equations of the equation of the asymp the equation of the asymptotes is. So let's derive it from that equation and then do a limiting argument. Kasi mas madaling i yun yun eh. solve for x in terms of y, and then the equation looks like the equation of a line when y is large enough or x is large enough. So, punta tayo sa ano. Baba tayo ng konti. So, let's go to equation number. So, ba, so baba pa. Yung second to the last. Diba? So, we have, since, panggulo yung ano, it's easier to derive the equation of the, of the asymptotes from 13. So, from 13, x Solve for x prime. Okay. So, siyempre, para may explain yung goal. To, to derive the equation of the asymptotes. Uh. Tapos magbigay ka ng space. Kasi, so to derive the equation of the asymptotes, The equations of the asymptotes. Solve for y in terms of x. So, so solve for y prime. In terms of x prime. So, from 13. Okay, so please do that. So, y prime square 9 over 1 to 8 is equal to 9x prime square over 16 minus 1. Like actually going muna, going muna dyan. So, y prime square is ano muna, and then get the square root. So, exact equation muna. So, may dalawang square roots. And then, mag argue tayo na for large n. And then, we do a, we factor out something and then argue. Now, for large x, this is approximately. So, Okay, 9y prime square over 1 to 8. Okay, 
and then y prime square is 128 over 9. So don't distribute it out. May, may dahilan bakit hindi ko i-distribute out yan. And then the quantity. Okay. Ngayon, take the square root. Of both sides. So plus or minus. Okay, or equal to and then yung one to eight over nine ilabas mo na siya. And then factor out also from this, you know, this one is square root of 9x prime, x prime square over 16. So, square root of, okay, so square root of 1 to 8, we have the same number, so 1 to 8 divided by 9, it's going to be, so that's going to be equal to 8 plus or minus 8 square root of 2 over 3. And then square root of, so, ah, teka, bakit? Hindi, kasama yung, kasama yung square root, multiplied to. So, okay. So, multiply to square root of. 9x prime squared over 16. Minus 1. Ngayon, ilabas mo sa square root yung 9x prime squared over 16. So that's going to be equal to plus or minus. So 8 square root of 2 over 3 times 3x, 3x prime, I mean, over 4. Okay, ngayon yung square root, yung square root, ano magiging laman sa loob? So it becomes 1 minus, so the square root of 1 minus 16 over 9x prime square. Yeah, so again, for large values of x, that's going to be approximately, so approximately 1 yung nasa loob ng square root for large values of x. So for large values of x, the square root term is approximately 1. And the equation of the asymptotes is, or the equations of the asymptotes are, Yeah, mag, uh, mag new page ka na. Teka. Pwede move up. Ayan. For large values of x, ayan. The square, square root of 1 minus 16 over... So 
is approximately equal uh, approximate is approximately equal to approaches one. And the equation the equation of asymptotes the equations of the asymptotes are So three x prime over four. So y is equal to or y prime is equal to. Okay, so pet R y prime is equal to that, diba. Okay, so in the original coordinate system, or in the unprimed coordinate system, minus 4. Okay, so bila na po nag-brown out ulit. Okay. Ngayon, yung ano dito, may sashare lang ako na no, kung bakit. Hindi ko lang kung nakita mo na ito eh. Pero, I'm going to share something na nasa na nasa bra, na, teka, puntahan ko lang yung Yan. Kasi I think this is important. So we'll read this. So let me share my screen. So, ito. Nawala pa ng kanya. Yung Teka, kamo sa battery mo. Y yung naka yan yung naka laptop ka, di ba? Bobo. Okay, so let's just do this quick. Para ano? So kung bakit pinapasulat ko yung mga tao ng... Or bakit kita pinapasulat ng... Uh, ng solutions. Or baka mamamatay daw pa anytime yung internet. Oh, sige. Anyway, sige. I-ano ko, i -ano ko na lang to. Sige, sige. Anyway. Final, um, so yeah, ne, try lang natin ulit this coming Sunday. Kasi yung schedule natin, nakailang, uh, nakailang, naka, I think almost one month na tayo na ano eh, na nagsisimula ng, ng four, di ba? Apo. Yung actual schedule natin is actually five to six every Thursday and um, five to seven every Sunday. So I think na, na meet na natin lahat ng adi sa lahat ng backlog natin. So I think okay na na kahit dito na tayo mag-stop. Okay, so we'll just resume on Sunday. See you po. Okay, so we'll stop here. Tapos once online ka na, meron akong pinin na post eh. Punta, pwede puntahan mo lang yung profile ko tapos basahin mo yung nakapin. May ano yan eh. Nahanap ko sa Twitter eh. It's why I ask people to write. Okay? So, I'll see you again this coming Sunday. Bye-bye. See you po. Thank you po. Bye-bye po. See you.